You say, oh. Bringing you the finest entertainment on this side of the void. Game reviews, movie reviews, tales and myths from the supernatural unknown, unsavory food reviews, clown world news, and much more, all wrapped up in one extremely mediocre yet morbidly amusing online television channel, The Shady Gamer Channel. Entertainment, but not for everyone. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of The Grub Review. And since our last Skooma episode, it was about time we did a little detox and well this was actually your idea so we're going to try uh, yerba mate some sort of uh, tea uh, from the, the company mr mate yeah it's a uh, south american tea. tea and it's apparently a super food and it's super healthy and it's going to make you immortal and uh, then you'll probably you know rule the world as an immortal monster or something like that. Um, or be... Yeah. Rusty. Um, rusty. Yeah. You basically turn into a human with Godzilla. Um, but this just isn't any tea. It's a tea. It comes with a little book. It actually has an entire starter's guide. Yeah. And this is what you drink it uh, from. Uh, instead okay. of a normal mug, it's a hollowed out pumpkin. Flesh pumpkin. Yes, a flesh pumpkin. Not a flashlight, a flesh pumpkin. Don't put your dick in this. Uh, so yeah, it's just oh. a pumpkin, uh, they made a little ring thing on it, so you can easily drink from it. Um, but the first step you have to do is actually scrape out some leftover pumpkin meat that's still stuck inside, which you have to use the straw spoon thingy you also use to drink the tea. So first we had to um, fill our pumpkins with hot water, let it rest a bit, so the leftover meat would get moist and come loose and now we uh, scrape it out which is surprisingly difficult or I don't have a lot of meat in my pumpkin but not much is coming out oh now we get some chunky parts coming out so yeah this is a whole do-it-yourself project for one fucking cup of tea So how did you uh, get this idea, Mr. Nelios? Well, I found it some, yeah, some advertisements on the internet, and I was like, "What the fuck is that?" It is like uh, some kind of uh, drugs uh, infused tea or something. And so I thought, mm -hmm, maybe it would be funny to see Mr. Shady fucked out of his mind. From tea. From tea. Yeah. And the spoon, straw things look kind of dope, so I was like, mm. why the fuck not? So, yeah, let's see what is actually what they say in the little book. So apparently yerba mate is made from the dried leaves of the mate plant and it's full of antioxidants, vitamins and minerals to give you energy and you know superpowers. Ew nasty, this is all the gunk that was released from our uh, pumpkin cups. That's the creative. Oh. Step back and think I'm more of it. <laughs> okay, next step in our uh, whole process to have a fucking cup of tea is apparently you have to put hot water in it again and with some actual tea, the mate in it, and you have to like let it rest for an hour or uh, almost a day. But you know, fuck that. Uh, we don't have time for that shit. We're just going to pour in the tea and. Uh, yeah, give this stuff a go. So, uh, yeah, explain the process. Now we put one to two spoons of you get with it in it, uh, and you hold the calabaza, they call it, um, in, in, in at an angle, so it all 
will be at one place, the team. So let's. Uh, yeah. So we we got the starter kit, which was horribly expensive, and they gave us the two pumpkins, the spoon thing, and the the weird starting called Bomba Zilla or something. So yeah, and now spoon. we're going to put two cups, uh, two spoons of mate in our special pumpkin cup. Two. Well, let you do it. Yeah. It has, you know, it, it, yeah, it's basically, it looks like leaves put through a wood chipper. Yes, yeah. it's very, well, it basically is leaves put through a wood chipper. There we go, two spoons. I'll put the spoon here. And now you have to kind of tilt your pumpkin thingy so the the tea, the leaves, whatever you call it, is collected here. At one the, side? Yeah, at one side in a little pile and then you add hot water in it. You put your little straw on top of it and you slowly drink. That's supposed to be the process on how to enjoy a simple cup of tea. You have to try everything at, at least, least once. once, yeah. God damn, that's hot, uh, the bombilla. You if you keep holding it while hot water is in its side. So now you drink. Yeah, drink, car drink, drink yeah, carefully. Because yeah. it's, it's hot water, so. Are you out of the spoon straw thingy? Uh, but they also tell uh, pour extra uh, till yeah, yeah, not the, the tea loses its taste. Yeah, I don't plan to drink that much. No, I don't, I, for for no, people no. who will want to try this, we succeed. Uh, we would tell you don't take the the, the pumpkin. Uh, starter thingy, take the... Uh, Just buy the fucking thing and use a normal mug. Yeah. It, they charge about 60 euros for a starter kit and all you get is these two pumpkins, the spoons, uh, the, the straws and then two bags of tea. Like Just get the, the bags of tea and, and, get, the get the, and get the straw maybe too. I thought I saw some uh, starter kit with only uh, the straws and yeah, shit I but not I, I think and with it. ceramic uh, um, tea cups in it. Yeah, but who doesn't have ceramic tea cups already? Well, okay, but then uh, just get the fucking tea with the straws. Okay, let's let's just try this shit. Let let just you know, fuck it. You first. <laughs> it's really hot. Fuck. Yeah, I told you. I got. <laughs> I'm scared to burn my tongue on it. The straw is not sifting very well. I can tell you that. Mm. Tastes like leafy water. Yeah, very leafy. But green leafy. Not yeah. damn my, my tongue. It, it's like low quality green tea. Yeah, not. Uh, no. This isn't something I would drink. Consume often. for my pleasure. But apparently it's uh, very healthy. No, this is the the regular one. The regular, regular one. yerba mate. Maybe it's not uh, just one taste. Uh, not for you, but uh, oh, it's the taste for you. Mm. It's quite hot now, so and I'm burning my tongue otherwise on it. So I'm gonna leave it <laughs> a little bit. Want to let it infuse the water and other to. Not burn my tongue, or I'll taste nothing. Yeah, I'm uh, already missing the school. Now. 
easy rehab. That's why I thought it would be nice to have something. Oh, so this is actually an, an intervention. <laughs> Well, that, last you time I checked, you were also drinking the skooma, so but I'm, <laughs> I'm not addicted to it. I can stop whenever I want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's way too hot. Yeah, I don't know what to say about it. Mm -hmm. It's it tastes like leafy water, like low quality green tea. It's overly expensive, it's overly complicated to make a fucking cup of tea with all the pumpkins. If you want to drink this stuff for the health benefits, just get the bag of tea and get the special spoons. And it's, it would, it's still probably a bit expensive, but... Yeah, and I would suggest also just using a normal cup, because it's... You all... Uh, Later on, you can also get, if you don't clean it properly or maintain it properly, uh, you can still get some uh, fungi in it. So, not really recommended yeah. for if you want to... If you don't want to drink from a moldy pumpkin. Or, or, or aren't going to go hard mode in it, like we are thinking not going further in it. Uh, it so... We do this maybe a little bit, so you don't have to, and you can see, because I didn't see anything on it, like, oh, uh, tutorials on, on YouTube from, oh, you cut it, that, and that, that, but... Uh, now, I admit we did speed run this whole process, because, you know, I'm not gonna bother with all this bullshit. Uh, but yeah, you know, some people might like this, that's okay. Uh, but like I said, I still think it's way too expensive uh, and you're just better off just getting the tea and the spoon. Like the pumpkin really adds nothing to it. Maybe it's for the authenticity, yeah, but that's, that, that, that's about it. So so yeah, this was our little Yerba Mate grub review. Uh, do you have any last words? Nothing really. It's uh, It's... Yeah. It is what it is, and that's what it is. Uh.